I'm getting green like I'm supposed so to. Nigga, I holla at these hoes to see how many I can go through. That's a sick lyric. Visualize what you can't see. You gotta listen to Pac. If you're not on the two pack. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Hat Free Speaks. About to go get it in today with a reaction to Tupac, aka Machiavelli the Dawn. Can't see me from his album All Eyes on Me. Yo, I'm an avid Tupac fan. Actually, one of the first albums I purchased by accident was All Eyes on Me. Double cassette. I didn't know at the time how much of a significant part that will play to my um, life growing up. Well, in the album and in those songs, real life lessons. He was like reporting for the hood in those songs and I was getting a glimpse into what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what Pac did. That's what Pac did. And if you disagree with that, you can leave this video. <laughs> Freedom of speech, that's just my opinion. That's what Pac, Pac highlighted issues that were problematic, that nobody else wanted to talk about, really, because it was too taboo. You can't be saying that. You can't be. You can't be uh, talking about that on your songs. He did. I wonder why they call you bitch. There was a song name and a song. I'm not going to give too much detail about that. I might do a reaction to that, but they, they they took it to the extreme. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like censor the guy. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go get it in today with You Can't See Me, Can't See Me, my bad, Tupac. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and give this video a like. Help support this channel, it's a new channel. I'm about to go get it in, in uh, get it in today with this reaction. Tupac, Can't See Me. And as always, guys, I will be giving my thoughts at the end of the video. But with that being said, I'll try not to pause it. But it's hard, man. Hard, because Pac's got bars. Bars. Especially in this song. The blind stares of a million pairs of eyes Looking hard but won't realize That they will never see the P This beat itself, especially in the 90s, is funky, it's got that funk, but I can't imagine today's rappers being able to rap on this kind of beat. So when I when this first came out, I was like, yo, what what's this? But then yo, Pac just takes it, snatches the beat up, wah, tears it apart. Give me my money and stacks and lace my bitches with non-fingers. Real niggas fingers on nickel plated non-trinkers. Must see my enemies defeated. I catch them while they coped up and weeded open fire. Now the niggas bleeding. See oof, oof. <laughs> I catch I catch them up coke, coked up or something. I leave them bleeding. You get me? He's saying he's catching his enemies out while they're faded. You get me? This laced up with the weed, coked up, whatever, and he just comes in cold. Blah. Real niggas fingers on nickel plated non trinkers. Must see my enemies defeated. I catch them while they coked up and weeded open fire. Now the niggas bleeding. Mm. See me in flesh and test and get your chest blown. Straight out the west, don't get blown. My adversaries cry like hope. Open and shut like dope. Is you a friend of fuck? Nigga, you ain't know. They got me stressed out on death row. Oh, oh. It's like, oh my days. As soon as he came out, the first, the first couple of bars, man, it, it was. What? Are you a friend of foe? You got me stressed out on death row. Oh, I mean, look, what, how many, again, how many bars are just there initially, straight away? And keep in mind, All Eyes On Me was the album that got released as soon, soon as he was out of prison. This was one of his main, this is what took him out to, a, to become a global sensation. Test and get your chest blown. Straight out the west, don't get blown. My adversaries cry like hope. Open and shut like dope. Is you a friend of fuck? Nigga, you ain't no. They got me stressed out on death row. I see money, but baby, I got to get more. You can make go to pop, and I ain't stop until I'm well paid. Bills paid now, nigga, look what hell me. Visions of cops and sirens. Niggas on the fire, bunch of thug life. Niggas mm. on the ride until I die. Ask me why I'm a boss player getting high. Uh. Pairs 
So when I first heard that drop of Biggie, I was like, was he talking about Biggie? Because you have to play it back a bit. And you don't know if he's talking about Biggie Smalls and the issues at the time. <clears throat> but this was before he released Hit Em Up. But looking at the timeline of tracks, it's hard to say when he made Seven Day Theory, was it the same timeline as he was doing All Eyes On Me? Because he's really, you know, Pac's got so many tracks post his death. R.I.P. Tupac. Post his death. You know what I mean? So it's hard to say on the timeline between what period did he do most of his work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's a in, like he's, there's an interview in the song until the end of time, or um, he's actually saying, "Come in the studio, bang it out, bang it out, bang it out." He's doing five or six songs a day, something ridiculous. I think Snoop said it, um, and uh, he's saying he was going in the studio, banging his songs out, literally every day. He was focused. You get me? It was the weed. The distractions that took him away from his work ethic, but it was always there, you know what I'm saying? The stairs are the million pairs of eyes, and you'll never realize you can't see. Big getting words as these square motherfuckers with nerves saying they can get with us, but picture me getting served. Ooh. My own mama say I'm thugged yeah. out. My shit be popping out the record store as if it was a drug, drug house. Ooh. My lyrics bang like a cup of blood. Nigga, what? It ain't nothing <laughs> but a party when we thug. And there I was, a young nigga with hope. Yo, because of this, the funk, this ain't relying on some, you know, Dr. J producing it. It's not relying on some hefty B line that you get nowadays, some bass 808s coming through and all that stuff. This is just pure, I mean, it's the music of the time though, right? So I'm not uh, diminishing or discrediting the music, how it sounds today in this time. But back then, this is what people jammed to. I mean, I'm still jamming to it now. You know what I'm saying? Them thug niggas have arrived and the judgment day. Hey, hold me if you feel me. Tell them tricks that shot me that they miss, they ain't kill me. I can make a motherfucker shake. Rattle and roll them full of liquor, thug nigga, quick the jab at them hoes. And I can make you jealous niggas famous. Fuck around with you, to see how good a nigga's name is. I'm just a rich motherfucker from the way. If it's rapping, bring me money, then I'm rapping till I'm paid. I'm getting green like I'm supposed to. Nigga, I holla at these hoes to see how many I can go through. That's a sick lyric. I'm getting green like I'm supposed to. Holler at me, see how many holes I can go through. <laughs> that's deep. That, sorry, about that's deep, man. That's deep because Pac was about that, and that's the funny thing about it. Authenticity, yo. That's some real ass shit, son. Vision, yo, year 2020 now, son. But you can't see me all the glasses for the happy you blind. You blind, you can't see me. You can't see me. Don't like, baby. Don't believe everything you read. Alice and we. You can't see me. Right before your very eyes, you won't even visualize. Right before you can't see me. Can't even visualize. Dr. 
right. This video, I dedicate it to you. Well, I'm not in a bad way. I mean, this this track right here, I I remembered I used to try to rap to it as well. <laughs> it was pretty hard because he was so quick. He was so quick on this beat and so fast. Like he had something to say. He wanted to just say it. And Dre just put together this beat. Brr, here you go, Pac. And off it went. What you can't see. Yeah. You can't, you can't see me. Right there, my son. Right there. Peep game. Visualize what you can't see. You gotta listen to Pac. If you're not on the two pack, before you hear any sort of hip hop in your life, check out Pac. Check out the One Eyes on Me album. Yeah, we all have these albums, we all have these artists in our lives at a particular moment in time, but Pac, in my opinion, was the pinnacle. The pinnacle where it changed. No disrespect to Biggie, no disrespect to any other artists, we turn clown, anything like any group. I'm just saying, as a Pac fan, for real, definitely Pac put it out there. And you can't help feel a certain way. You feel a certain way, right? You feel empowered. You feel empowered? You get me? You might feel empowered, or you might be you might be speaking on an issue that you're all going through at some point. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what he was doing. Like I told you at the beginning of this video, he just was like reporting it straight live from the ghetto. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm off on a tangent. Hope you guys enjoy this reaction, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace.